back, baby faces. <laughs> Victor Billy here. As he was making their way to the ring. JP Savage. Yeah. That's it. Put it okay. to the back. Oh, give it a bit. We back like WCW Nitro on TNT. That's AEW, asshole. Oh, A -E -W. Is it? I don't know. Something about a Rhodes owning a wrestling company on TNT. <laughs> something about it's no longer a t-shirt company. Dang. Oh, shit. Oh, e -W. Has it gone full circle? Did you not? Correct me if I'm wrong. A few months ago. You're wrong for wearing those glasses, though. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Had you seen me in front of the bright, bright lights, baby? My we in Hollywood. Did you not say no. that this is no more than a t-shirt company? And until you are proven otherwise. Speaking of t-shirts. This, this, this goes a long way. Long way. Uh, Vic, you were saying something? Something about a t-shirt? I don't know. Oh, t-shirts. Get them for $20. Make that bass up. Give me $20. Heels, Give me $20. pops, and chair shots t-shirts. Yes, get your very own exclusive. Heels, pops, chair shots .com slash shop. Get your very own. But... They're not a t-shirt company anymore, guys. No, like no, no, they've no, got no. the the financial backing, right? That was number one. They've got uh, their inaugural event. Yes. I always felt like All In was really like the inaugural ah. event, but but here we go, right? Uh, double or nothing. We've got a television deal. We've got a roster. Uh, yo, Tuesday Night Dynamite is what I heard, which mm. sounds a lot like Monday Night Nitro, is what Ooh. I'm saying. I don't know, but I mean, things Tuesday are gonna get interesting. Tuesday Night Dynamite. I can hear that coming right off of Dusty Rhodes' tongue. Um, <laughs> let's go, baby. It, let's it go. Is, it is exciting times. It is exciting times. AEW's are on the next level up. I mean, I got excited when I saw er Earl Hebner jumped on to the bandwagon of AEW. Where AW. are your pants? Always off, on the floor, no belt. He ain't lying. He ain't and uh, lying. speaking of uh, zebras at AEW, hey. right? So Earl Hebner, like you just mentioned, Ooh. but also Bryce Remsburg, who we're going to be chilling with. Shout out to uh, Bryce. July 11th for Tell his em. workshop uh, and summer tour. So check that out. Yo, check him out because spots are limited. So no get that shit. They're going to be in where? Richfield Park? Uh, Richfield Park, yeah. All uh, you localies out there Thursday, that follow the show. We know, July, you, you know you out there. Yeah, Thursday, 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 July right. 11th, just like Rip Rogers taught me. Ooh. Shout out to Rip Rogers. Producer. I am a notorious this name dropper. Just name dropping <laughs> out here like it's his job. Um, someone who's also been known to be abrasive oh. backstage. Abrasive, that's such a nice word. You like that, yo? Me. Shut up, bitch. So look. <laughs> so look. That was abrasive. <laughs> Austin <laughs> Aries. Signs with MLW. What do you guys think about that, man? MLW. Gran mierda. I think Selena will keep him in line, though. No doubt. No doubt. She don't play that shit. Yeah. Act up once, and that's it. Make I don't. I hope she don't play that. Like, don't give him more than one chance. I'm kind of. We've seen what he can do. I'm kind of curious to see how the interaction's gonna be. With her, him, and Selena. Yeah, like on screen. Oh Because I feel like she could, she could dish it back, right? Yeah. She gonna try to be his, his self, his asshole self. And she could she could sling it back. I think he's alright. Oh, yeah, she could, no, no, she could better. definitely she could she could hold her own. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, he you saw what he did at Impact. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, is he gonna come and ruin a pay per view? Yo, that pay per view was golden for all the problems that it had or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, man, I don't know. I don't know. He's got such a bad like taste. He's left such a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. But that's what she hey. said. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> you just savaged yourself. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get drunk and talk about Vince because that's what the writers Ooh! do. <laughs> oh my God. Fuego, 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 fuego. Yeah, it got lit so, up. Talk to So him. listen, we've been throwing a lot of shit at the writers, right? We've been, we've been doing a lot of shit. You putting it work, baby. Yo, just talking shit about creative. And, and I got to say, man, honestly, from the bottom of the, my heart. Take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. <laughs> <laughs> it's your job to make that shit work, man. And getting drunk and talking shit about Vince on a podcast. It's exactly what you do. <laughs> it's exactly how you do it. <laughs> that was completely irrelevant. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is why we can't. It's just, things. it just felt right. No nice outboard. <laughs> <laughs> See, we level up, and now we gotta take away your toys. Uh, <laughs> they tried to do that once. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
creative goes on Wade Keller's Pro Wrestling Post Show Ooh, podcast on PW crazy. Torch. And, uh, man, they just go off. They talk about, like, Dana Brooke getting no love backstage. They talk mm. about a lot of uh, storylines that don't get used. A lot of their writing that gets thrown in the garbage. A lot of times where, like, Vince doesn't know what the fuck is going on with anything outside of WWE. Him getting bored with talent and, and storylines a week or two in. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. If you're watching the product, yo, watch the fucking product and you see exactly that. Don't 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 force people to, to bleed out their eyes, bro. Come no on, nice now. things. Don't force that because it's terrible. Because we're watching it, <laughs> and it's unbear- unbearable. HPC got you. We watch it so you don't Unfortunately, why do you make us go through this crap? <laughs> but are you surprised, really? Like, <sighs> yes. So we said something. You're surprised. Yes, I'm surprised because, I mean, and there's still time, but one of the, the greatest moments, we grew up in one of the greatest eras of wrestling, arguably, right? The Attitude Era, when it, we saw the business at the all-time high, companies competing against each other to the point of extinction, right? And this is what the AEW uh, opportunity, this is what it kind of presented. It gave me hope for this. And right now, what the WWE is producing is fucking basura, yo. Like, so so like get ready they're supposed for, to be so leveling get, up. So get ready for a fight. And yo, and, and that's not to say, yo, because the wrestling's been dope but uninspired. Yeah. Let's be honest. Like, yeah. hey, uh, how inspired can you be if, like, you've been wrestling the same match a hundred times and, like, you know the story's not going of anywhere. Of course. And you know Vince isn't listening to you and, like, blah, blah. So I don't blame the talent necessarily. No. Although, there's a professional part to professional wrestler. Yo, yes. Mikey Quackenbush is kayfabe 2.0. Talks about that shit. Um, yo, it's 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 your job to be a professional. So every time you go out there, but how how do you keep motivated? Like, yeah, I understand. Like, I get it. And and and, and the stark difference is that you see NXT and what they were to produce, man. Because they're still hungry. But they're once still you hungry, you get on the main they roster, that, they got that autonomy, right? <clears throat> to kind of take some leverages. And yo, and it works consistently, bro. We have not had a takeover that's been garbage. I'm glad it sparked up this whole great. Great points made by both of you, by the way. Great conversation that this this so last you, topic. Why you stop it? Because <laughs> it, because I call bullshit. <laughs> last week we mentioned on the show. I think it was you specifically, Mister. Uh, Don't point at me. So why don't you um, stop him from talking? So, <laughs> so there's this angle that Vince might be playing, he's where nut. he's going psycho. Right. I think this plays well into that. I think it, what, think. what what I, I think Dean Ambrose thing the John Moxley by the way um it never said John Moxley on the video it said John Mox right but whatever his his uh his Twitter handle I think is John Moxley oh okay but whatever besides the point I just think this is gonna be a big angle of finally Vince going crazy and finally getting him to like move aside or at least this will tell him to start the ball rolling for him stepping aside Vince versus I think Triple that's all H. bullshit I think it's all bullshit Vince so versus Triple H uh, maybe it could lead to that at next Wrestlemania <laughs> where like Triple H has to go <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Puts him out of his I never room. loved you <laughs> Sledgehammer uh, bitch <laughs> huh? Shawn Michael <laughs> for the company <laughs> for the company yeah. damn we just I mean isn't it just so perfect yeah. that three drunk fucking creative yeah. guys came in and all they did was slander Vince McMahon's name yeah, no. I guess uh, apparently he's getting old. Yeah, but and maybe out of touch. But for him to be this stubborn to the fact that now he, he's letting it be public, Vince, for one thing, would never shit get, let shit get this public. Or at least not a but, bad name. But, but Vince is also in an era where he can't control everything, right? So, I mean, he we're talking about a man that took over the industry. It made other companies extinct, and now we're at a point where now there might be some legitimate potentially competition, right? So... I think you're giving this very man a little too much credit. I mean, if this ends up Pops? being a fucking work, Pops is Pops, then man. it's genius, right? But I think you're giving him too much credit because there's so many other factors that we're seeing play out that do not make this just solely a work. Now, is it something that is a reality and now they could potentially turn into work? Sure. But this was something that was already happening. People were leaving a long well, time that's ago. Well, that's, why, that's why I think it makes more sense because it's already something that's real. It's something that's very real. I think, get, I think this is his way of flipping it now. You can ask Edgelita about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. 
<laughs> you just savage yourself again. Hey, and uh, speaking of uh, Double or Nothing, May 25th. Well, that thing, hey. that's that thing we're going to do. The thing, thing, Saturday. The thing, 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 Saturday. 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 May 25th mm. at Rockefeller Sports Bar be, 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 in Delaford, New Jersey. Oh, come Hi, Mimo. hang with the bad guys. JP Savage will be there. Victor oh, Villain will be there. Pretty Chubby Flacco, Old School Joe, Elise Steve. Everybody going to be there, right? We, got, we might have some surprises. We got games. We got drinks. We're going to get fucked up. We're going to watch Double or Nothing. It's going to be a good time. Come hang with the bad guys. Saturday, May 25th. Here. But before that, we gotta get raw. No, we're right? not nameless, we're not faceless. We were this week. I've never said that. Especially, you know, you gotta get, you know, you gotta get the same. Except when I'm talking about this. Exactly. Yeah. But, but to be fair, this raw was actually pretty decent. So the A show of the week, fight me. It was. This shit was NXT. dope. Nah, raw. <laughs> raw was pretty good. Raw, raw was, uh, raw was. Money. Yeah, you know why it was pretty good? Cause it's all been garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so even the the subpar seems excellent. It's I saw brilliant. Right off the bat, this wild shit got me confused as fuck. Man. Exactly. You said this was good. <laughs> well, we guys we get past this, and it gets you know once you once you scrap off that that yeah, the crisp and the they top. They say the same thing about anal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> that, that's this is where you press the button. Yes. Um, what man said. So. What? The Walker shit, it, it didn't make slightly more sense for me for Raw than it did SmackDown this week, only because they were in London. Okay. So I guess it, maybe this is, it, it was a scheduling thing. This is why, is this a temporary no. fix for the Walker, to bring the Walker? What it sounded like is I need to do something because ratings are terrible. Right. So I'm going to put all of my, my, opin, uh, my biased heavy hitters on the one show. I mean, because exactly definitely not having Reigns on London because show is not best for Having business. three wrestlers from Raw on SmackDown and three wrestlers from SmackDown on Raw, what the fuck does that do? How is that supposed to excite me? It, it They're going to pick a fight with somebody? If anything, it keeps, story, <laughs> it keeps the storyline going for that, that specific storyline. It story just mixes line. up the storyline. Right? Yeah, because now you have people, other people from other shows tying hey, into those AJ those Styles lines. fought last two weeks, right? I don't remember what fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> it was on all of them. It was on Both all of them. them, right? Both of them. Which is, I mean, we're used to seeing that but, anyway. But that AJ Styles package, though. That's what she said. <laughs> and then the video that they played. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Miss <laughs> uh, TV uh, with Roman Reigns. Uh, <laughs> Man, what I wasn't there for it. Whatever. I was there, I'm but just, I wasn't there for it. Reigns got some booze, yo. <laughs> I mean, that's normal. I'm just glad that they attacked him. I, I kind of want to see Miz heal again, bro. Yeah. Listen, he's been doing a good job, but. He's it's, been doing a good job. He's it's more Shane McMahon. Good. Huh? I just don't believe Shane McMahon is a heel. Yeah. He, so out of the, all the McMahons, he's the weakest heel. He, but he's not doing a bad job. Eh? I, I, he's just not believable. Yeah. But he, I was just going to say that right job. now. Um, I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess so. I don't the, the, heel Shane McMahon, the heel Shane McMahon reminds me of the old Shane McMahon. But we're not having the old Shane, man. We have the old man Shane McMahon. That yeah. gray hair just doesn't, it, it doesn't help. So <laughs> next, <laughs> Mojo Raleigh and Apollo Crews. Yo, he squashed Crews like that? Yo, but why? With his got a sandwich face? Yo, when did Apollo, uh, Mojo Raleigh, like, get eczema out the ass, yo? Like, what is going <laughs> out the on? Face. Yo, I'm it, sorry. He sleep on the marker. I'm sorry, <laughs> but and it's just that like, I, I, don't, I, can't, I can't watch Mojo Raleigh after he debuted on, on 205. Uh, or was it main event? Shout main out to event, Corey Graves event, because when he debuted this whole gimmick shit on his face, Corey Graves goes, "We get it, you're Glacier, congratulations." Yes. <laughs> no, no, it was so bad Corey Graves cut his hair. <laughs> 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 or that Why was that? his wife. <laughs> oh god. Um, so Nikki Cross <laughs> had a segment <laughs> that was kind of weird, guys. Yo, I did, I wasn't mad at it though. It was, for the, it was for the it was for the home crowd. Yeah. I don't care how sprung anybody is on Alexa Bliss. Dog, there's something wrong with this chick. With Alexa Bliss? Yeah. Like health-wise? Yeah, she's missing action. Like, yo, what? I don't get this. Other than, than Nikki Cross's hometown, like, why would she? Why would Alexa Bliss not compete in action on the go-home for any of the pay-per-views she's well, competed in? Well, you have to look at it this way, right? Alexa Bliss is homegrown, right? And she's very young. They have a lot of talent not being utilized. People want to leave. She if we don't need to force her into something, if she's still recuperating, 
Let's put it on the shelf when we need to. Let's let's have a pitch count, right? No, I get that. Because but. it's about longevity, right? Because yeah. right now they're losing out on wrestlers they had they had um some investment in. People are leaving, and it's gonna continue to happen. If you lost Sasha Banks already, right? That's a prominent figure in that women's movement. You can't afford to lose Alexa Bliss, and injury is one way to lose a wrestler. Definitely not. Yo, but uh, we, we're not gonna talk about Nikki Cross though, real quick. Yeah, most, Nikki. Most that, little, that little baby face, but yeah, at the end with that little sinister look. And not only that, but winning that fatal foot with, right? Yeah. yeah, she got the W. She, got the w. she definitely That's got a the hometown W. Hometown thing. Hometown thing, right? I don't like that she didn't rip Alexa Bliss off the ladder when she, she right? interrupted her and freaking and, and then took her down on the um shit. On the uh off the ladder. <laughs> Put my glasses on here. <laughs> Go ahead, yo. Old man Rivers. Yo, what's yo, what's happening, score? bro? Uh, Shout out to Rip Rogers. Um, <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, so <laughs> he's gonna kick your ass. He's going to hurt you. <laughs> Look at that bottle. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> so uh, after Mojo Rawley, after Alexa Bliss, after Nikki Cross, right, right? We got the contract signing between Vince McMahon's twins and Becky Lynch. Yo, you want to move the fucking Trello, bro? Oh, God fault. damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so. The twins and the man. Uh, Lynch, Flair, it's a good and ring. Evans. Yo, um. This was good. I like the work here. Lacey Evans? Mm. Yo. I'm liking it. Hey. That's the one positive of this hey. angle. She, she can hold the mic. You know, it's, it's positive because it's been, it's the most refreshing angle because we haven't seen it, right? Uh, but also, she's also, like, she's keeping up her weight, yo. Like, she's they're dishing it out, and she's kind of responding, and it works. It's believable, right? Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, there's some legitimacy to her. You know, she is a, she's a, she was in the military, so she knows she's a le- lethal weapon. And her in-ring work is not terrible. But the, the mic skills have been very impressive, man, because we didn't even see that on NXT. You know, um, and uh, it's working, man. It's working. The only thing is, yo, I'm... It's dry. It's dry. Because I feel like everything that everybody else brings to the table, we've Wait, seen it. Wait, who's dry? We've seen it, and we've... Becky uh, Lynn, Charlotte, and, and, uh, and Lacey. Lacey. You know, I think Lacey's if it's dry. dry. If anything, Becky and Charlotte are dry. Well, that's exactly. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's exactly... If you were here in the last so, three minutes, no. that's exactly what we were saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but no, I think, no. you know what it is, is that in the bed that Becky sleeps, there's too much gold. How you know? You know? Bro? Because, you know, you have the man with both the Raw and the SmackDown women's titles, but you also have her counterpart now. As we find out, they are official. Hey. The Universal Champion, Seth Rollins, has definitely seen what's beneath the curtain. Wow. Um, hey. And the carpet match. No. Up, right? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it. Savage. I saw you walk. <laughs> I had nothing to do with anything. <laughs> I feel like his chance to apologize <laughs> to absolutely nobody. All right, that's it. You can't play with this anymore. I lost my soundboard privileges <laughs> for the next three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I put myself on timeout. <laughs> you know, yeah, who, man. You know who actually had a good match for once? <laughs> Baron Corbin. Yo, I'm not mad at this. Baron, you, and you it, do not beat Kurt Angle and then lose to Ricochet, dog. I'm sorry. You gotta beat Ricochet. You gotta take the W on this. And a great match. I mean, a lot of no, the best spots, no, no, no. I mean, a lot of... Uh, no, uh, do not uh, insult our intelligence. I would, if there uh, yeah. was anything where on Raw was great. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. It was, it was subpar. It, I have yet to get to the great part yet. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, this shit was all crap. Uh, so, so, why? Damn, bro. But it ended hold up to your point? It was better than SmackDown. <laughs> it was better than SmackDown. It was better than SmackDown. I said it was the A-show of the week. It was, it was. It's still not but no, saying that's much. on the curve, bro. Don't give it an A. It's the B Curve show. Curve the, the fucking C-word. steep. Fuck that shit. Damn. Uh, uh, I mean, Baron Corbin's garbage. But anyway. <laughs> it was a good match. It was a good match. It doesn't uh, hurt Ricochet. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That, that's why I'm saying. Like, you, you, I'm not mad at but does Corbin help, going over. Does it help Corbin? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It keeps the ball going for, the, Ricoch- for his heat. He, Rick- got, he got heat. Ricochet's popular. Like, yeah. th- that in and of itself is, is enough to help him. But is it going to help enough to make him relevant? Define relevancy. He's one. Of, he's the top heel in the company, and that's why the ratings are down. I, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not I his got fault. it. <laughs> 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 Touch your ass, bro. 
So Rey Mysterio and has a has a segment with Cesaro backstage. Yo, that, leads that was to a interesting. Match. Dog, Joe needs to choke out Dominic. Yeah, right? uh, Joe's gonna end up wrestling Dominic. Yo. I'm sorry, he has to do something like attacking him. Joe is something. going to beat the ever living shit out of Rey Mysterio. Dominic's gonna c- jump in, and at Extreme Rules, we're gonna see an Extreme Rule gimmick match Ooh. against Samoa Joe, which I'm fucking here for. Cause if yeah. someone's gonna have a debut match. Against Samoa Joe <gasps> in a fucking gimmick match? That'd be dope. That'd be dope. <laughs> yes, we sign me up. And if you notice, he sign did us throw up. in there that his son, Mysterio, made a point to say that his son is trained. Yeah, his son's been training since he was like seven. But they aired it, right? Like they, they made it a point that he's in, he's in training, etc. So, but yo, it was interesting to see Cesaro come out like that, yo. He was talking about, he said that it wasn't his son. He straight up said, how could that be your son? Like, how He's tall not is? your pop. That's funny. Yo, it was good How to about see the spot? It, well, I guess they move on. The next is the, the actual match. He tries to do the, the Swiss one night. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he kind of botched that a little bit, but yeah. um, he recovered. Yo, he's a fucking professional, man. Yeah. man. This guy, he makes everything look good. Even yeah. his botches. Like, he was able to recover <laughs> mad quick. Um, but moving along. The Fatal 4 weight. So, like I was saying before, man, Dana Brooks promo sucked. <laughs> She sounds like she's literally going running for for a beauty pageant. Give me the mouse, you piece of shit. She's going for a <laughs> <laughs> she's going for fucking Miss Universe. Every time she opens the she talks on the mic. I mean, she talks on the mic like she's uh, at a bodybuilding competition. But uh, it's also they've all been terrible. Yeah. Though, though, I mean, the exception of Nikki Cross because we haven't seen her on the mic too much. But Natalia has been atrocious lately. Anytime she's around the mic, it's just she'll go up in flames because it's been terrible. Yo, when right? has Natalia been good on the mic? No, 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 but, but, but Moving now on. it's been <laughs> fucking <laughs> atrocious. Moving on. Like Shout out to Corey Graves, though. He no, killed it on commentary. Moving <laughs> on! Oh, and Alexa Bliss. <laughs> what are we doing here? Blaming shit on Royal Baby. Fly so, so Funhouse. Let's get it. So, Firefly Funhouse. Oh, my. What? <laughs> What'd you call it? Firefly Funhouse. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Yeah, but not like that. What a segment. Finally, the payoff to what we've been waiting for. The newest member of Slipknot, baby. (laughs) (laughs) El Cuco. (laughs) El Cuco. Yo, watch your Cuca. Yo. What do you think, yo? Fire. So, um, actually, the... The mask designer had a lot to say he w- on his Facebook, and he was talking about how like he Bray Wyatt is it was a genius. Oh jeez, I forgot his name. It's but like, I'll tell you right talk, now who it is. It was this guy, uh, artist Tom Savini. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So Tom Savini was talking about how like Bray Wyatt's a genius. He was so easy to work with. Bray Wyatt hit him up with like fucking mad texts like in the middle of the night, like yo, look at this, look at this, look at this. He was able to like sketch it out and they worked together. And um, what I most got about all of that is that Bray Wyatt cares so much about his character and, like, all the nuance to it. He is writing this shit from scratch. Just from his his promo work from the beginning, you can tell he's always been into his... his his character. But a lot of detail to it. I don't blame anything that's happened to him. It's... I don't blame him for anything that's happened to his his character. Could that be... uh, We're not live anymore. I don't know. It's not going live, so fuck him. Whatever. Could Could that be testament to... Why his characters have been able to go older, uh, or as, fa- as far as at least with Vince, right? Because there's so much work and, and thought. It's so thought out and so complex that that's why they love it. But then eventually they ruin it because they try to overbook it, right? Or they oh. misutilize it. Or right? underbook it, really. Or when you think it, right? about it. <laughs> or underbook it. But right. you know what I'm saying, right? Like yeah. they made it, Bray Wyatt was an awesome concept, and they fucked it up. They fucked it up by taking making him take so many L's, right? Uh, no legitimate title reigns, no legitimate domination, right? He had a whole he tribe. Had a, he had a whole tribe, a stable. Even nothing. Daniel Bryan was part of it at one point. And then it didn't fucking squander, right? Now this is another opportunity. And, like, he's putting in the work. And you that's why they like it. You think they use Luke Harper? Mm, no. I think Vince at this point is just going to let him, like, die. Bro, on that fucking sucks, yeah. man. Yeah. I hope not. Killed his whole yeah. career, yo. I'm well, that's the well. first great thing about Raw. Don't you think? <coughs> but wh- what is the Firefly Funhouse? Yeah. Yeah, but I just don't know where it goes. Well, we nobody does. I mean, hopefully, hopefully it's something positive. I, I don't know if I like the mask. I think I need one of those. You don't like the mask? I just, it looked cheesy. 
Nah, bugging. Like, I, I just need to see how and, and what and how is it used, right? Is it like he's gonna come out in the ring? What did you pull that out of? Don't ask. Okay. Hey, but it my will. <laughs> um, this guy, so, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, where are your pants? What's gonna happen? No, it's it wasn't creepy, different. Right? Um, the storyline of let's keep away from Brock, from Braun Strowman. Word. Hey, um, bro, his mom the heifer. My favorite part of the night. Uh, I really like the main event. So let me tell you what seemed to have been something that was gonna be repetitive, like a repetitive storyline between Braun and Sami Zayn a couple like last week and a, a week before that instantly in one week turned into a potential rocket strap yo rocket strap yo rocket for strap Zane? for Sami fucking Zayn Sami Zayn gets into this match now he wins the false count anywhere for the right to compete on this Sunday's pay-per-view for the for the spot on the money in the bank ladder match I think now I'm torn because now I want him and Andrade to win. So and it's like if if Sami Zayn is to win this match now, he, he missed the money in the bank. Yo, main event picture. You got some shit. Yo, he's an a, like, before, he's annoying. Like before we get to top like, heel. the the Sami Zayn part Edge? of this, what oh. we're ew. <laughs> what we need to discuss is is Baron Corbin having a stable or what? <laughs> like a stable of a waiter? Is Shane McMahon having one? Yo, cause like. Like, Shane McMahon's ordering these guys around, right? Baron Corbin is taking orders, apparently, in his, <laughs> in his <laughs> vestment. <laughs> but... <laughs> but <laughs> you want fries with that? Yo, <laughs> with that shake? Hey. <laughs> Wepa. That's a shake. But, uh, so we got Bobby Lashley, we got McIntyre, we got Baron Corbin. Now we got Sami Zayn and Shane, a five-man team. Well, table? no, because Sami Zayn got double-crossed. And poor job on the commentary on that part, because at the end of the match... um. Baron Corbin shoved Sami Zayn back out to, to Braun Strowman after the fact. So, and, oh, and, they needed and, to and, sell that. And, and Cole did, did a horrible job in selling it. Oh, and, they, and they, they just brushed it off like it was, oh, and now Sami Zayn is back in front of Braun Strowman. He's trying to get away. Like, Michael Cole. Like, yo. Michael Cole. <laughs> yo, terrible. <laughs> it I, I'm, before you go on your rant, it was the only one spot I caught the night. So, uh, not too many complaints. Well, here's the biggest me. part of the night because I, I completely forgot until you just said this. After the Firefly Funhouse, like we just saw a major character Yo. development. Oh my you God. got three announcers standing up, staring at the camera, going, Well, on Sunday, we got money in the bank. Uh, Yo. so yes and no, though. Yes and no. Yes and no. no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I got you. Right? Your job is to build storylines where they may or may not exist. Your job is to ensure that the audience is fully vested. You've got to sell, sell, sell like your dick's on fire. And what happens after a major four, five, six week character development twist? Welp, here's the next topic. No! I don't know what that was. You're, you're, uh, and then we get to the main event, right? That little but very important point, right? That Sami Zayn is not a part of us. He's, he's just who we had to feed to the wolves. I, I love the desperation in, in, in the story that they told because, yeah, Baron Corbin and first Baron Corbin came out. He needed Braun Strowman not to be in that match for Manny on Sunday. Then Drew, Drew McIntyre came out. They, he needed Braun Strowman not to be in that match. So they were both desperate to fucking attack Braun Strowman. The story was, we don't want Braun Strowman. And then, after that match was over, now that you solidified that Sami Zayn is going to be in the, the main event, I mean, in the latter match, yeah, fuck him too. Throw him ass back to Braun Strowman because now, now I want Braun, I want Sami Zayn to be fucked up for Sunday. And they kind of, they didn't do a good job doing it is what I'm saying. They did, they kind of brushed it off how they mentioned it. But they didn't, they didn't elaborate on it. And you needed to kind of sell that point. You got to sell that shit. Because now, okay, now you, you think, all right, now Sami Zayn is in cahoots with Barry Corbin and Drew McIntyre. Now they're going to have a three-man guy. In the actual match. But you got to build, like, you got to build the story. Like, you've got to outline the story for the audience. Like, you got to say, wow, Sami Zayn's really on his own now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You got Drew McIntyre, who's got backup from Bobby Lashley, who's got Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin and Drew are going to face each other. What's going to happen there? Sami Zayn is now in the match. He just got fed to Braun Strowman. Like, that's that's compelling story storylines. Like, you can build something out of that. But you told us nothing. Like, you didn't make that a point. And it's been happening. Go back in our archives. 
I've mentioned this on several occasions. Yo, there are times where the fucking announcers do not focus on the story at all. Well, I guess since you're talking about Roman Reigns, let's just get to it's SmackDown. Smack it down. Oh, wait, 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 we got music. Do we? Smack it up back Smackdown Live. Roman Reigns comes out and I'm c- annoyed again. <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw this shit last night. I blame the Miz. <sighs> he I brought him out. Miz. He brought him out. He helped him out the other day. He brought him out again. He, you know, he wanted to repay the favor. So he started again to show how he it started. It was terrible. What, two the night before? Right, so yeah. the Usos saved Roman Reigns from getting his card. ass kicked. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Right? okay. Yeah. So then what? Then Andrade defeated Randy Orton. Yo. Randy Orton. But what about that spot during that match where Ali did the 450? I mean, I was still introducing the match. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Andrade defeated Randy Orton. Was it a fatal four? Uh, B- Finn Balor and Ali. Yeah, that's what I was trying right, to right. say. So, <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Miss excuse me, Miss Piazza. Incredible match. Incredible. And I, I caught myself at some point screaming at Andrade to climb up the fucking ladder and get the fucking beefcase because I thought it was a ladder match. Okay. <laughs> That's how badly I want this motherfucker to win. But, yo, tell me no. Is it too much? No. I just don't. I don't. I'm tired of the IC champion being involved in this ladder match. This Money in the Bank ladder match. I'm no, tired of cause, it. No, because he's. He never wins. You're right. Oh. He, you're right. He never wins. <laughs> he but never hey, comes close to winning. Hey, it's hey. not believable that he will win. Hey. But what if he does? But I think but, the but stipulation should the be. The one time? That, okay, then don't ever use it again I after think, that. I please. think the stipulation should be U.S. title and IC title are in the match automatically. That's got to be your, your number one, like, oh, because you're already a champ, you got to get. You might want number one. So that's card. two guys you can. Okay. That's two other guys that's you could put in there. That's two of the six there, or whatever. Two of the no, eight. I'm saying, but that's two spots you just took up for current champions. That Yeah, but the way you're not looking at it is that if that, if that U.S. Uh, title holder or uh, intercontinental title holder wins the match, they're dropping the Intercontinental of the U.S. title. So everybody that's oh. in that match can, can pick that up. You know what I mean? No, nah, I don't it's think they'll the drop the title. title. No, 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 the no, point no. of having him in there so he can be double champion. And I, I don't no, think that's going to no, happen. No, no, just showcase, man. They've got to be in the conversation for the title picture. Like, when you're the IC champ, you're the next one. Yeah, but you're after. You're the next one but up, after, right? But after. Like, yeah. Now while you have the belt. Now, uh, uh, Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, yeah like once in a blue, like now they do this every threat, year. Just the threat of it, like it just having them okay. as a threat to one, the title. One, but, but not, not, so that's not a to lot. win. Well, US I, and I would say both. Because now because you're telling me two people are probably one out of the two is definitely not winning. I mean, one's only winning. I mean, only one person's winning, and it's and probably the neither are, of the them. Tra- exactly, but that's two spots I already know. I'm not even looking in the, the direction. But what as talented as they be, Finn Balor, if you don't take that icy title off of him, now I'm thinking he might win this match. But 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 now, if, if if indeed let's say Finn Balor is the IC champion, if he were to win the Money in the Bank, is this a testament to say like he needed the Money in the Bank and the IC title to even be in the conversation of the title picture? And maybe in Vince's eyes, hell yeah. Is that is that like a detriment? To and the maybe image? it's still not enough. So is again, I tell you, the IC champion will not win this week. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard it here first, folks. The victim villains. Take them <laughs> off your she- off your pick and all your parlays. Don't put them. <laughs> telling you. Uh, you so know why I won't put Lars Sullivan in this? <laughs> um, that's why we can't have nice things. Oh, Kofi <laughs> Kingston, right? Backstage with uh, Xavier Woods. He wants to do the Kevin Owens show by himself, which I was happy that he did. Yeah. Um, Charlotte Flair does a promo. Who gives a fuck? They does anybody know what the fuck Alistair, Alistair Black, Black said? I don't know. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. I think it was cryptic. <laughs> <laughs> I think the message was cryptic. I don't know. He looked like he was on his way to a funeral. Or something, so All I, I heard was fade to black. I was like, uh, yeah! yeah. I popped after that. Hey, yeah. I saw I saw Alistair Black, and I just br- was brought me back to the bullshit mode to Raleigh. <laughs> 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 it's a damn shame. Shane, Elias, Daniel Bryan, and Rowan defeated Roman Reigns and the Usos in a handicap match. Yo, Uso? Saxton was upset, dog. Saxton was so upset that it was such, like, unbalanced. And Corey goes, Saxton, you know you sound like Twitter. <laughs> you're upset you didn't get your way, and now you're bitching about it all night. Oh, Yo, man. that was funny. Good. <laughs> uh, Paige, right, comes out with, like, Oscar. Like Tyson, I got sh- Las like Asquerosas? Kabuki Warriors. Oh, that shit, yeah. They, they, they. I don't care. I hear that um, Oscar was the one that came up with the name. 
so I don't care. Like I, I like that. Come up wearing it. <laughs> pa que, pa que, yeah, pa que. We're gonna break up next week. Yo. Yo. And the moon hyped up money in the bank. Pa que, she not care. gonna win. <laughs> so then we got Oscar and Kyrie saying the Kabuki Warriors defeating Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. <laughs> Lars Sullivan was interviewed backstage. Who gives a fuck? Was he not fine me. backstage or? Who the fuck is that guy? Um, Kevin Owens appears on the big screen and he does his thing, right? Because Kofi Kingston came out for the Kevin Owens show. He Word. didn't show up. And uh, how do you feel about this shit, guys? Yo. Exactly. I, I was, uh, although I love whenever Kevin Owens works yeah. with Sami Zayn, I felt like I didn't want to see Sami Zayn tonight. Yeah. Sami Zayn got fucked up last night. Yeah. Um, I love the fact that the money he in the bank. He shouldn't know, have but been But you know there. why they threw him in there, right? Cause they don't even feel like the feud is working out in this uh, in this feud that was pushed together very quickly, right? Yeah. I think it's a, I think and it's, and it's, it's come full circle now. Now Sammy is bringing the heat, like they're living, they're they're, they're they're riding off Sammy's heat wave right now. Cause Sammy's hot yeah. right now. My biggest issue with this whole thing, right, was Kofi Kingston's getting his ass kicked, and Bubba Ray pointed this shit on Twitter, and he mm. talked about it on Busted Radio. Bubba Ray, if you look like him. At the tailgate. Uh, at the tailgate. <laughs> um, when Xavier Woods comes out, this is a big pop moment. This is the face save, right? Like the face is coming down from the back and he's making the hot tag, right? With the hot save. Xavier Woods came out and got smacked and that's it. He was dead. <laughs> that's it. Like you killed all that fucking like, like the crowd was eating it. They but it worked. It's a new day. But it worked. They got the pop, right? First, first thing is that when a baby face comes out, it should no, there should be no music. It should be a surprise. Oh, he's coming out to save the day. That gets a bigger pop. A bigger pop is a surprise baby face. Like, and it's not a surprise because it's fucking Xavier Woods. I don't Woods agree with that. Because it should it should feel like Xavier Woods came out of nowhere. But you know why they had to put on the music? Yeah, but because nobody was watching. Right, maybe that, and the people in the back, they not, the, the people in the top can't see that it's Kofi unless it's you know oh, Xavier. Unless you know it's Bubba the, Ray the, was the right on Busted you know, Radio. You know, you know the Z's <laughs> that happen when you're sleeping, when you're snoring, the Z's. Apnea. That that was just occurring throughout the entire arena because people were falling asleep throughout this entire. People uh, had masks on. And shit. We just said that the A show, <laughs> the, the, the A show, the A show, the A show was wrong. That's what we just said. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. haven't said this shit in the podcast the entire in its entire <laughs> existence. <laughs> What is it, 59 weeks? Yo, time out, time out. Can we backtrack? Where the fuck were the tag titles this this week? Exactly. Yo, they, they fucking canceled uh, the shit out. <laughs> <laughs> now, no, Daniel Bryan and fucking, and, 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 uh, It was Earth Day. Oh, yeah, they got they it. They, it Earth Day? they came out twice, and they didn't bring out the titles, not once. Wasn't it Earth Day or something? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're getting wooden ones. It shows that SmackDown got more problems than that main event. Listen, listen, um, hemp, belts, hemp belts burn slowly. Damn. <laughs> guys, Daddy. guys, yes, today is the 15th. Mm. I got paid, gentlemen. Hey, what you got paid? So, with? guess what I got? Run your pocket. I got some money in the bank. Oh, too, like this shit. week, because they've been, been a little melee. But, no, but nobody's watching because Game of Thrones this weekend. <laughs> so, this is probably the only money in the bank I would be watching. <laughs> Here's chance to apologize <laughs> to absolutely nobody. And that's how I feel about that, because uh, WWE has not left me inspired to watch this shit. Let's be honest. Raw, we, we just said that this is the best Raw has been, and Raw was absolutely fucking terrible. Guys, <laughs> it guys. Was, it was you know, when you haven't eaten food in about 12 hours, and you finally get a piece of a cracker. Happy Ramadan. And that cracker tastes is the best fucking cracker you ever had. It's because you haven't eaten in 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> There's been no sustenance. And that's why Raw was the best show on WWE this week. Can't wait and for that, Tuesday that is blasphemy Dynamite. because NXT is still a consistent product. But we're talking about the two main shows that are garbage. Right? Garbage. Basura. Yo, when you look at this card for Money in the Bank, it is a good card. Anybody that has not been paying attention to what's going on looks at this card like, yo, this is some pretty dope matches. But we are uninspired. The, the opportunities they've had to build these storylines, to build these feuds, to make <coughs> us invested on these matches that we have in one of the most fa like uh, favorite pay-per-views in the year. Money in the Bank, right? This is a launching pad, a rocket strapped on somebody on the winner's back. Well, I'm glad and you think so. Whack. I'm you glad you think so. <laughs> That's what I heard. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's, let's go over let's it. Let's not. 
Um, <laughs> Roman Reigns and Elias. Huh. What? You're starting there? Yeah, I'm going to start at the bottom. I'll wait to the top. Wait, you forgot about Daniel Bryan and Roman. Uh, Rowan. Well, they defend the, the tag Usos. titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they actually find them. On the kickoff show. Um, if they find them. That's why it's on the pre-show, because they not, they're not guaranteed that they'll find them in time. Yo, the Usos have to win, right? Like they've No, got what they the fuck? They, they, just they just dropped it. They about to go to AEW. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we didn't even get to see what Daniel Bryan and Rowan are going to do. Yeah, they... Shit. Yeah, they're gonna they're Dr. gonna hold. Shelby has to come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luke Harper gotta jump in on some shit. All right, so know. Roman Reigns versus Elias. You oh. know, you know, you know. The big dog, the big dog, the big you dog. You know what's gonna happen. So let's skip this. You're right. Uh, Elias is gonna win. I'm just happy that they, 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 you know. I'm Elias. just happy Elias is in the match. I guess. I am happy he's gonna be showcasing the match. And, yeah. and, and I have to be because he is going down. Right now. Like he looks swole. Listen, he, he's, he's there's no way Roman Reigns defeated cancer. He loses to Elias. Bam, 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 bam. It's not gonna happen. Savage. Not on Vince's watch. Is it time to apologize? <laughs> To absolutely nobody. Uh, it was Not in Vince's eyes, baby. That gets cut <laughs> <laughs> from the live show. Uh, so Roman Reigns. If if they were smart here, right? First mistake I'm making. <laughs> First mistake I'm making. <laughs> if they were smart here, they'd know that the money's not here. The money's the money is building extreme ru- extreme Elias. rules. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. Extreme rules, yeah. right? Is that that's that's the right. Uh, that's the next one. So you know, money in the bank is already big for a number of other reasons. Let's have Roman Reigns have a high profile match at Extreme Rules. So let's have him open Money in the Bank with a loss to Elias on some bullshit. We know that Elias is intermingled with Lashley and Mick McIntyre and whatever. Dirty finish. So give him a dirty finish where he wins. Elias takes the W here, and Roman goes on to challenge him or or maybe the other guys. In to a basket weaving match in Extreme <laughs> Rules, bro. <laughs> this is the most boring storytelling that there ever was, bro. Because Roman Reigns is included in this fucking story, bro. Yo, it nah, is Nah, but whack. Elias is in the story, so. Yes, but the way they've used Elias has been terrible. Huge. And then, honestly, the next feud, too. Huge. The Miz is shaking the man. I, I forget now why the Miz is chasing Shane McMahon. Uh, co- yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he smacked yeah. his dad, yo. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but his dad had it coming. Yeah, no so Shane McMahon <laughs> versus the Miz in the Steel Cave match. I have a problem with all like of it. With, with, like, continuity issues, man. Like, like, we had a match at WrestleMania. That should have been like the big blow, like yeah. your climax. That's, that's, that's where you blow, blow your load, right? Oh. And like now we have a, a steel Huge cage. Payoff. Now we have a steel cage. Shout is that gonna is that gonna resolve anything? Why is the storyline still going? Uh, yeah, like uh, we we predicted a while back that the Shane and uh, the, the, it was supposed to be first of all the Miz versus Daniel. This Bryan. was supposed to be right? fun. This was supposed to be. Fun. This this was supposed to be the catapult to that to that feud, oh. right? <laughs> we had predicted that. And, and and they just this is the story that continues that's too long, like this this should have ended like you said. The song that doesn't end. Doesn't. So end? who wins? <sighs> who cares, man? Nobody. The Miz. We the lose. Fucking Miz is we, lose. Lose. we lose. We lose because we watch it. Now I think um, big spot Shane right jumps from the top of the steel cage when he should have. Here's what here's what happens. The Miz wins because Shane McMahon goes for the elbow drop from the top of the cage on him. And he moves, he he moves right. Fucking Miz has a chance to escape. End of the fucking story. I Bang. Um, woman's money is in the bank. Get a chance to apologize <laughs> to absolutely nobody. Yo, stop touching the soundboard. <laughs> I just had to preemptively do that to this women's ladder match because it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> is it? You sorry. think so? Yeah. Yo, yo, it's just they haven't been all. They haven't all been bad. I'm not right? crazy about the workers. Oh, am I wrong? Am I terribly we just, wrong? We just finished saying the worker, the, the the individuals in this match, right? At least four of them have been terrible. Dana Brooke on the mic has been terrible, even though I like the push she receiving, right? You saw her jumping off the, the ladder. I'm week, glad she's there. Right? I'm Natalia, glad she's there. goodbye. Alexa Bliss, Dana Brooke can't is take a bumps. stiff kind of worker. Naomi, I don't well, know what's Alexa going on Bliss there. also won last year. Bailey, so where you been? Uh, Mandy Rose, Bailey, I think Bailey and Carmella, Mandy are favorites. Carmella, where you been? Ember Moon. Yeah, why is Carmella in this match? Because she won it before. Uh, Bailey, they got. They always play that. Bailey, Mandy, and Ember are my are my uh, favorites. I'm gonna go with Mandy. Well, I'm who needs it Mandy. the most? Bailey. That's easy. Easy. So Bailey would play the Zami Zayn role, right? 
Cause I hope because so, if Bailey they wins, her, they won't turn her heel. If Bailey wins, has to be healing. I would love for her to be a heel. At least anti-hero, show. right? Alexa Bliss wins, man. Come on. She nah, won she won last year. Exactly. Nah, nah, nah. Mandy Rose. You know Emma how Rose. mad the internet will be? <laughs> oh my God! I hope Alexa. That's my pick. Alexa Bliss wins, so all of you motherfucking baby faces could just cry me a river. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I would. I would prefer she went out of all of them. So. So, so the top three. Well, top four would be. Bailey. You can't pick half the people in the match. Bailey, Bailey, Alexa Bliss, <laughs> Dana Brooke, and Emma Moon. top four out of what? Those are the four that No, I stand corrected. I would be happiest for Dana Brooke to win it. Yeah. I, I, she, I she expect Mandy Rose to walk out of it. I got Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose? I got Mandy Rose. I don't Rose. think she's ready. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's time. How many pay-per-views has she been in? Exactly. Like, I don't know. I, so, I, so I think we need maybe to Naomi. Like, I can see Naomi. I can see Carmella. I can see Alexa Bliss. You could say Natalia, although I don't think so. You could say Dana Brooke. You could say Bailey. But Mandy Rose just does, and Mandy Rose and Ember Moon don't have the pay per view acumen to be walking out of a Money in the Bank. In my opinion, just like, just looking at at the lineup, I'd be like, they're the two least likely to win. So, so you have to consider when we talk about the winner right now, you have to consider one thing, right? One, the person that they're gonna be challenging, right? So, so Char- you have Charlotte, man, Charlotte. It's either Charlotte, Lacey Evans, no. or Becky, right? You're right, but they're not challenging them. They're cashing in on them. Well, they're cashing in on them, okay? Right. Okay, right. cashing in on them, which Carmella has experience in, right? Right, right. So, so who would benefit the most from a program with one of those three individuals? Mandy Rose, man. But can Mandy Rose... The name, right there. Step I think that <coughs> putting Mandy Rose in a program with Charlotte... <laughs> Is the rocket strap she needs? But that's two heels against each other. Ember Moon would be fun. Ember Moon would that's be a face. Out, though. Ember Moon maybe, but I, I doubt Vince. I, th- I think Vince is holding her off for next February. But, but why are you only thinking Charlotte though? Because you have once again <laughs> Becky Lynch no nice and you have Lacey thing, Evans, man. technically, right? That's a, it's, it's a late chair shot, Joe. <laughs> JP don't even know why. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Let's talk about the men's money in the bank. I can't, 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 I can't. A little edgier baby. I can't, I can't. That's not in the Because that's a story, that's a storyline between, you know, if it's Charlotte, she goes up, go up against Charlotte. I like your socks, but where the fuck are your pants? Hey, if you got to worry about that, don't worry about it. If you got to ask, big man, you can't afford it. I told y'all, man, Sammy Zayn or Andrade here, man. So you got I, I have Zane. And I'm, I'm a big, I'm a Fred big Corbin. Ricochet fan. Remember, I told you, Ricochet's the future. Who? And uh, Ricochet's my wild card here. He's my dark horse. But I really want Andrade or Sammy to go. I think Sammy's the pick here. I think Sammy's the way to. to Speaking of going far, right? Going too far. Yo, Tony Nees and in in, in Davari for the 205 championship on the middle of the, of the card of Money in the Bank. I think that's going to change. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, think that was a mistake. <laughs> that's a big mistake on our part and theirs. Vince, or, or Vince is going to be like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> well, that's a Vince call. <laughs> um, so it's because he got the 12-pack. I don't give a fuck who wins in this match. I'm going with Tony Nese because he just won it. Yo, would you guy? Oh, my bad. I thought we were just skipping the two. Oh, my bad. Did, <laughs> did y'all pick your money in this, your ladder matches? I don't think y'all picked them. I don't think so. I don't. I'm not. I don't, I don't think y'all want to pick him. I, <laughs> I honestly, it's got to be between McIntyre and Baron Corbin. That's who I think. Okay. Although, ah, see, like, good writing would put the three of them against each other, right? Drew McIntyre, Bar- Baron Corbin, and Sami Zayn. Like, now they just kind of started some shit with Sami Zayn. Sami yeah. Zayn should be the reason they don't win, and they should be the reason Sami Zayn doesn't win. I so, can see so that for uh, easy lane for Ricochet to jump in. So the incident was going crazy at the fact that, like, at the end of one of the shows, uh, Ricochet ended up actually taking the, the money in the bank. How amazing, how amazing would it so, be? So if that's the case, then I'm going to go with Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Right? Because that's not a popular wanna, choice. If you want to go on, if you're talking about stocks, if you're talking about bringing the product to another level, okay. you want some big names, Randy Orton. Against Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins put on Because remember, potentially and Randy Orton hasn't been a universal champion yet, has he? Oh, true. True that. True right? that. They can choose, right? And, and they can choose. And remember, Randy Orton, yo, the one thing we know about Randy Orton, when he's motivated, he could do some work. And right now, he's, for the last year, he's been, t- in the moments they've used him, it's been interesting. I would love Randy Orton to win and then spend, like, the next six months building a program with Ke- Kofi. 
Rappaport cashes in on the Universal oh Champion. Oh my god. On the Universal Champion. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Where he's like, he's building the beef, the beef, the I beef. Like that. But in the Universal title picture, whatever's happening at SummerSlam is just not working out or, or, or Survivor Series or whatever the fuck. Like, who cares? Just flip the script But just on like, him. like he sees an opening and he's the Viper, so he strikes. He, right? He RKO's the push. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, think, I, think, I don't think I, I don't think creatively WWE will think of uh, will allow the Money in the Bank winner to just Let's openly switch like that about yeah. what what can be the oh, most yeah, interesting. They call it. They They'll call, call it, it, but but fuck so that what? Would be fucking so awesome. what? The He's rule. Like, and then he comes out. What, tell me the bylaw. Yeah, yeah. Where's the fucking rule book? <laughs> yeah, show me the rubric. Like, yo, he's not gonna come out. Like, he's gonna come out whenever the fuck he wants. Give the title, the 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 briefcase to the ref. And the ref is having a panic attack as it is. He's like, Orin had the coolest cash in. Uh, one of the top. Coolest. No, no. One of the Edge, top Edge had the coolest cash in. Like, he was the, the first coolest. one. Like, that that was the one. You know what I mean? But, but Edge, uh, bro, Randy Orton was dope because he gave it to Triple H. And he yeah. was just like, here, Hunter, you remember Evolution? Yeah. <laughs> Help me evolve, baby. Yeah. Whoop! Cool. What can dope. be the most interesting development in this yes! whole show yes! is Samoa yes! Joe versus Rey Mysterio. Fucking Yo, yes. Guys. Fucking yes. Would you be mad if this match was like three minutes If Rey doesn't die? I mean, wait, you know what? No, I think it's gonna happen where like he's gonna beat. The, I already said this. He's gonna beat the ever living shit out of fucking Rey Mysterio, and then Rey Mysterio's son is gonna get involved, and I'll see you at Extreme Rules. I want to see Dominic no, choked no. out. But I'm what sorry. I'm saying is, if they have a repeat of the WrestleMania match, would you be upset? I don't give a fuck. It depends, man. Cause if I was in that seat at fucking Money in the Bank and the motherfucker was seven hours long, and then fucking it was still like. Match number three. Yeah, hell yeah. The motherfucker needs to be five seconds long. <laughs> Shit. No, no, because what I'm saying, when I saw WrestleMania, people bitched about it. I thought it was satisfying because it showed what Samoa Joe shows up to do. Yeah, I'm to sorry, but Rey Mysterio has no w. business fighting Samoa Joe in 2019. I mean, Not lasting longer than maybe three. Extreme but moving on, moving on to the next. So we got, who we got? We all got Joe, right? Yeah. Joe. Yeah, Joe. So, um. Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans. I want to talk about first because I think that's gonna open the night. I think that's gonna be the first match of the night. Cause usually when they have double headers, they have like they give them time. The, they give them time and then they put them on first, and then the second match goes on the end or whatever yeah. towards the end. You, th- I, I don't know. I think, I think Lacey, Lacey goes Ev- first because nope. I think Lacey gets defeated. I think I think Charlotte carries that SmackDown title because she's trusted to go do a program with Bailey. What's the more interesting story though? Lacey winning. I know. I know. The man being beat by the woman. Uh-huh. Charlotte Flair beating the ever living shit. I will be Becky one to Lynch. say that my, my my suggestion my prediction is more of an old school kind of flow. Like this is something that would have happened back in the day. But I'm yeah, gonna Lacey's tell you would be the cool. This is what's gonna cool happen. Tell them what's gonna happen. Becky and Charlotte are gonna start the night. Or or, or they're gonna come on first. Becky and Charlotte. Yeah, Becky and Charlotte. You think Charlotte's gonna and lose. they're gonna put on a fucking show. Okay. You remember Extreme Rules last year, or, yeah, or yeah. was it Extreme Rules? Yeah, yeah. Right, where where Becky and Charlotte had themselves a match. Right, right. Well, these two women are gonna have themselves, I think, a very very good match. Uh, expect Ken to make an appearance. I can see Kendo, the Kendo stick coming out, oh, okay. and Charlotte just right. going ape shit, bang bang bang, banging bi- uh, Becky up because she won. Then Lacey Evans comes out. Has her match on a maimed and and ruined Becky Lynch and Becky Lynch loses that second title. Mm. You know what I mean? It's instant heat. Uh, you know Charlotte doesn't need it, and so she can build herself strongly by by attacking afterwards. Uh, Lacey Evans just walks into the match, walks out. It's a safe match for her. Be- Becky Lynch knows how to put on a banger. She just put on a banger, um, theoretically speaking. So and, and and Lacey Evans is no slouch herself. So I think it just it, it kind of writes itself that way. I, <laughs> I don't see it like any. Uh, I understand a hundred other ways you can write it. One thing's like for sure. I think the, m- the the consensus is here that Becky's losing one. Yeah, yeah. I, I think she's yeah, losing she, one. She, she can't even one. hold up both titles. I think it's time to let one go. <laughs> yeah, let one go. And you know what? It was a nice Chef ride. Chef. At the end of the day, the real win is here. Seth Rollins and Andrade Cien Almas. And Kof- and Kevin Owens. Kingston, I you missed that whole point. <laughs> so, <laughs> Kofi Kingston, Kevin Owens. I think Kofi keeps it. Kofi Mania keeps Kofi going strong. Keeps it, yeah. Are we yeah. saying Kofi Mania stays alive? Yeah. Strong is a stretch. Stretch now, Armstrong. I don't Especially with, with, with Big E talking about coming back 2021. I don't believe 
Yeah, you better um, hold that strap, Kobe. <laughs> listen, I think that Kevin Owens would be an amazing champion. Mm-hmm. I All think right. he'd be a lot of fun to watch. And Vince may go with Kevin Owens. I just think there's so much more story to tell with Kofi that, like, there's so much he hasn't done as a champion that we haven't explored, you know, with him. So that point is why I think they'll keep it with Kofi and the fact that Kofi Owens has already done it. Been there, done that. We know he can hold it down as champ. He doesn't really need it. Co- uh, we need that bad guy to, to chase a little yeah, bit and, and start and fucking shit up. Kevin is really good at the chase. Yeah. And if Sami Zayn wins the money in the bank, Kevin Owens oh. can be a very jealous person. Because he could go to SmackDown. And what if, what if Kevin Owens fucks up Sami Zayn and takes the, the money in the bank? Let me process this. Hold up. Let me Yo, come up with think a about fucking, it. With a fucking take take a a second. Second. Yeah, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn can fucking definitely do some <laughs> shit it's been together a while seen it. for yes. the money in the for bank. The money in the bank. Yeah, that's they a t- that's a title in and of itself. Uh, wow. What's who you got, JP? There's a lot there. Who I got? I got the people. Well, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, chill, because OJ had the uh, people. <laughs> definitely. Uh, exactly. I feel you. I want Kofi. I want Kofi. The thing uh-huh. is, I want to go Kofi, but the reality is right now, Probably the New Day's not strong. With Big E not being there, they lose a lot of power, bro. And Big E may not be back for a minute. So it's hard to believe that Kofi's going to be able to make, uh, sustain this reign, especially without the backup. True that. So, just as fast as this feud fucking was developed, I think Kevin Owens takes it. I'm going Kevin does. Owens. I hope he does. Well, Godspeed, JP. Universal Championship time. AJ Styles versus the champ, Seth freaking Rollins. Great build. Great build already. Um, I'm not I mad at it at all. Build. I'm not mad at really? it. The, the, the video alone, that the two, was the, the same. Names, they the did the same exact build they did with Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles. Word. You hit me by accident. No, you did it. Oh, yeah, I did it. Well, no, no. You're talking about the, the, the in-ring work. Yeah, that shit. But that's that's always been trash. For, for, and for there's 37 writers. It's all about how they cut the footage. It's how they cut the footage and make it look in the video. Is what, it's, what, what weeks one, two, and three before the fourth week of the pay-per-view lead up to. <laughs> I like 60 seconds to me. <laughs> is, is, is just work that they can cut up into a video package. That's what I feel. You just want bigger packages. I do. You need to stop looking at this man's package. <laughs> the videos are Lashley. nice, too. <laughs> but so who's winning, Vic? <sighs> I give this a lot of thought, man. So who won in ROH? Let's go by that. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, they had an indie show oh, years ago. I think AJ won, right? I think AJ probably won. Yeah. Um, it was Tyler Black? Tyler Black, yeah. Tyler Black. I'm going to go with Seth, man. I think there's too much stock in Seth right now for him to derail him yet. But you know, there's just there's, there is potential with AJ because I, I really w- I see Roman Reigns coming up on the horizon, and AJ and Roman, yo. Um, but but Spooster. for the same point, Seth and Roman Reigns are the only guys that have beaten Brock Lesnar, and that alone is a match now, too. So uh, they can literally go either way, guys. I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins. <sighs> the move is happening to Fox. AJ Styles is a big name, but you can't have Seth Rollins beat Brock Lesnar to just let him drop the strap on the next pay per view. So you gotta go for Seth. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Um, AJ oh. has shown that he's really good at the chase. And he couldn't be Brock. And he couldn't be Brock. Well, b- he couldn't be Brock, but that's also a reason to give him the title and say, "Oh, now he's got to defend against Brock." Rah! You know. So um, I'm torn actually. Because AJ Styles is also the cover athlete for 2K, right? Um, 19. 19. I know, I know. But, you know. That's over in October. <laughs> it's over. Fuck it. Whatever. We'll have a new guy. Yeah, another $60. But right? So it just right? shows right? how invested they are <laughs> in AJ. <laughs> and, and Seth is so young that, like, Seth will get another 100 chances between now and then. He's not that young. <laughs> Seth, you know. He does CrossFit. That's true. He's young forever. <laughs> that adds another thirty years. Uh, but I really, I you were you were just speaking so highly about this guy, man. And I, I really, I, it's rare that because you've been shitting on AJ Styles for a little while, Mister. Yeah. Just keep on elaborating, Shit. man. Because just to hear you speak so positively of him, it just it, it's it's a good hear. It's a good listen for the audience and for the AJ Styles fans out there. Fuck AJ Styles, <laughs> bro. <laughs> this guy has been so like wet. 
soggy po- hot dog bun. <laughs> in the Wet, w- soggy hot dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's been so that's like called, that's called the bottom. Nah, like you know when you get a hot dog, right, and it's got all the fixings, but like the bun got wet because they put the hot dog with too much water on the fucking bun. Yeah, about sure. Bun. Nothing like that, <laughs> yo. About bun. It's nothing like that. All right. Yo. So now tell us how you really feel about AJ Styles. That's all. That's all the time we have, folks. Gotcha, bitch. We still don't care where you got your fix, yeah. bro. We know where you getting it. God damn it. Um, did we piss you <laughs> off? Um, maybe you have some daddy issues or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, check us out on iTunes. And don't forget, leave a Spotify. review. And tell us about your experience this Spotify. week on HPC, HPC Podcast. Because uh, somebody's going to read it, not us. Um, Google Play. Heels, Pops, and Chair Shots is here Pardon again me. every week. Wednesdays, live, Most baby. Time. On YouTube. Check us out on all platforms. And, and make forget, sure to rate and review. Wait, wait, hit wait, us with on. that what, five star. I said to rate. Oh, okay. That's right. Do that. Five stars, baby. We appreciate baby. it. Do that. All right. Ten counts of ten toes. See you next week. Deuce. Hey.